We escaped the fire! Oh no! Oh, 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 oh! Okay, there was a there was a, a wildfire over the mountain there, and it was kind of coming in their direction, and the bread truck wouldn't run, so they got uh, some uh, a, a schoolie guy came to tow them out, put them in a Love's truck stop, and they're fine. So, yeah, you know, I mean there were there was flames, la you know, as they're driving out, the flames are. 10 feet away, coming down the mountain. No, they're fine. They escaped. I love it. I, go ahead. Yeah, milk it. Get, see if you can get a two-hour, two 38-minute live stream. Ah, the fire. The fire is coming. We made it out. The bread truck barely got scorched. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but they did. They did have some fires yesterday, and... Uh, uh, there was a fire there in Kingman, Arizona, I think it's called. And uh, it was on the news. It was actually on the national news. They said there were some fires there. And uh, uh, I don't believe there was any loss of life. And everybody, you know, they, they, you know, hey, that's one advantage to living in a vehicle. If you see a fire coming at, the, you know, you get in your vehicle and drive the other way. You know, so if you're in a house house, it's a little more problematic. But uh Anyway, uh, so uh, Paul Barger and his uh, lovely girlfriend Ellie, I believe that's her name. It's not, it's not Shannon, it's Ellie, uh, got out okay. So uh, they're fine. They were fine, except they got to get the damn bread truck fixed up, right? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, whatever. All right, we have Tiny Planet there. Uh, she uh, sold her van. She sold her van, and then she got a flight from Dusseldorf to Tenerife, which is uh, an island out off the coast of Spain there in the Atlantic Ocean and she got I guess an Airbnb and now she is uh, taking a helicopter ride for the first time so <clears throat> she did want to change things up and she did so <laughs> you know I don't know you can know what we, we do see a lot of these quote former nomads and uh, they uh, you know get a little dumpy apartment get a little dumpy trailer there in Apache Junction and just kind of a uh, Take their shoes off and sit in their chairs and uh, and watch TV. Watch watch the watch the ID channel and Lifetime all day, and that's that. So I don't know, man. I don't know. She is. Uh, I wonder if she's contemplating getting back on the road. She probably kind of misses it, but uh, we'll see how long this lasts. Wouldn't surprise me if uh, somewhere down the road, maybe late summer. She gets another van and gets back on the road. She said she wants to come to the states. She does want to come. She w does want to come to the states. She said that, and uh, it'd be cool if she could get over here and maybe you know do some vanning over here. I don't know, man. Tiny planet. All right, uh, traveling K down there in uh, New Zealand is uh, busy getting uh, putting together her home camp there. Okay, she's got some land. She's got this is a this is a truck hauling a one of those big uh, storage containers, big truck storage containers. She's putting a bunch of those together there in uh, in her little home camp, and she is going to uh, make a home out of it. There's her boyfriend there, and uh, yeah. So anyway, Ra Ra Poob Hybe Transport, yeah, big big major trucking company there in. Uh, in, in New Zealand there. They uh, they pretty much dominate the, the transportation business. Anyway, no, I'm kidding. I, I don't know. I, they may. They very well may. I have no idea. But anyway, so she is busy uh, setting up the uh, setting up the camp, fixing it all up, prettifying it. She should get uh, Ed and Sue down there. Ed and Sue could come down and, uh, you know, uh, what are they, uh, the Nomad Ranch dressing there? Ed and Sue could come down and uh, help her out with some, you know, spreading some gravel around and keeping an eye on the place. Anyway, really nice job there. Not just, she's got an old trailer, a new trailer, uh, really quite a, uh, a uh, home on wheels without wheels. I don't know. Home on, kind of home on wheels anyway. Uh, some nice stuff. And of course, what, what do you want without the, uh, yeah, that's uh, that uh, AstroTurf. <laughs> so baby's coming, the baby is a coming, and winter's a coming there down in uh, New Zealand too. So uh, she's getting ready for all that. So big changes in her life, traveling K. Ah yes, good channel. Mm, this is uh, coming up uh, on the fourth of uh, May. Videos reviewed by your peers from RV on the Wayside. I'm gonna have to watch this. You know, I said that. I really said that a while back. I did a whole drive around in Little Adam one day where I was talking about a lot of these nomads 
you know, they really need to get serious input from their viewers, from their subscribers about, uh, you know, what they want to see, you know, and we're getting, <laughs> we're getting all this crazy stuff. I don't think people really want to see some of this stuff, you know, I don't know, you know, I, I don't know. You need to do more traveling. You need, you know, more drama. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Big Dog RV or update on uh, care of care. What's his name? Camper Van Kenny's new. Um, yeah, the vans. They they flop flip flop the vans. I, I shouldn't talk about him. I you need to back burner him for a while. So, uh, but there is a Big Dog RV or Felix. If you want to watch that, uh, Angela M is getting uh, some nice. Um, therapy there from nature she is uh, hanging out with her new guy john i believe his name is and uh, they're having they're having a good time it's nice to see her she looks like she's starting to get happy again you know for a while there it just didn't seem like she was particularly happy but it now looks like she is getting happy uh yeah yeah um bama mike did a video yesterday okay they did have a tornado warning down there in up he lives in a place called opp Oh, up. There is an actual place in southern um, southern um, Alabama called Op. And uh, he had it. I think this was a Photoshop picture, right? I don't think that tornado actually came down and hit his house. But he did have a scary time there. And they, he and his wife decided to uh, get down to the coast and hang out at the beach for a while and chill out and get away from where the storms were. But uh, we, we like, we like, we like Mike. Um... Okay, Derek, the guy we don't talk about, Eric, Derek, uh, what should we call him? We can't, we can't, we shouldn't say his real channel name, Nomadic, Nomadic Bernard, Nomadic Bernard. Okay, uh, he got somebody, somebody, guess who? <laughs> he just decides one day, I'm going to fly down to Orlando, gets on a flight, flies down to Orlando, like $99 round trip. And then uh, stays in a luxury place and has some luxury food and has some luxury drinks and hits a hot tub in a beautiful pool. And then he flies back without, you know, he didn't take the cats with him, didn't take the uh, RV with him. He just did that, you know, um, you know, again, he's been hanging out with that chick named Stormy that used to take there. Remember, she's the one that took me down to uh, Orlando a couple of times back in 2019. She's a nice lady, but, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if... Uh, you know, <laughs> she had some part to play in all that. I wouldn't be surprised. Again, we just hear what the camera army tells us. What it's like to be a real-life nomad in Oscar in an Oscar-winning movie. Carolyn is playing that up as much as she can. Carolyn's RV life. I mean, she really was. She just was kind of in the background of one shot, okay? Maybe two shots. I don't know. And everybody thought, I'm a star. I'm a star. Oh, yeah. Now, that is a small tent. You know, it's a small tent. It's a one-person tent. It bar you barely can get one person in it. Anyway, claustrophobic camping in a stealth tent. Solo overnight forest. Solo overnight camping <laughs> in, a, in a dense forest there. TA Outdoors from England. I don't know. Would you be claustrophobic in a tent like that? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's a, a one-man tent. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, man, have you ever, I don't know, I don't know, St Steve Wallace, you got the schoolie now, how about getting one of these uh, one-man tents and trying that out somewhere in some piece of uh, Canadian wilderness, huh? I shouted the channel out, TA Outdoors, really nice channel here, British dude that, kind of the British Steve Wallace, okay? Anyway, yeah, and he was, and he just camped in a trash tunnel, you know, a tunnel that went under the road, you know, I, I wouldn't want to do that, you probably have, like, raccoons and Stuff like that, running through all night, be kind of crazy. But uh, anyway, Steve Wallace and uh, this guy ought to get together and uh, TA Outdoors and uh, do some collabs once the pandemic -y border restrictions are all left, right? All removed, right? 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 Uh, Chrome, uh, what's his name? No, Cruz doesn't look too happy there. What? What's Daddy doing with that? Uh, with that drill? What's Daddy doing with that drill? Anyway, uh, we got Chrome here continuing to build out the ambulance that he bought four by four uh it's gonna be it's gonna be a long man you know he's locked down there in western canada and uh anyway uh anyway and it's gonna be a long spring there i think just uh 
you know, frustrating. You know, it's frustrating. Even if you know what you're doing, you're dealing with all this crap. Look at, look at all this crap he's dealing with. Wires and tubes and pipes and, and you know, and it's just, yeah. In, you know, I don't know. It takes a certain kind of person to enjoy that. But uh, Chrome is off on a different, uh, yeah, look at, look at that roof. Oh, breathe, breathe deep all that insulation crap, cruddy garbage, you know, anyway. I don't know, man. He, <laughs> he's, look how red he's gotten. He's, he's obviously, his blood pressure's up. He's, uh, he's getting angry. Things aren't going right. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, back to the, uh, back to home base there. I don't know. I don't know. It's content. It certainly is. You know, at least he, you know, kind of big, a big chunk of content fell into his lap there with that uh, ambulance now that he can't, he's not supposed to travel anywhere according to the Canadian or the, what is it, the Canadian, the pre premier of the British Columbian territory, no, c province says nobody can move anywhere. So he's going to diligently do that. that re otherwise risk a $575 fine in Canadian dollars, which he probably could easily afford, but uh, I don't know, man. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, I got a headache. All right, what else do you do if you're a Canadian? You know, now, what are the Canadians doing now that they're locked down where we have, Chrome is busy building out the ambulance Line screw is just up there in the Northern Territories, uh, hiding out. <laughs> oh, I don't, oh, he's, he's scared. And then we got Lacey Lee Elliott there. She's also in the Vancouver area. She is going to take a firearm safety course there. She is an automotive journalist, okay? So that's why she's posing with that car there. She always, every video she has, she's always got another really cool car she shows off. Anyway, she is at, uh, she's taking a course, you know. Uh, it's good to do that, uh, you know, learn all about, you know, F-I-R-E-A-R-M-S. That's, that's the responsible thing to do. Study up. And uh, and then, uh, yeah. So uh, I imagine uh, she's done some uh, range stuff. Anyway, I know she is at the range. Anyway, she is going to, uh, so it's got some uh, content for her. Although it's not getting her a lot of views. Again, I, I don't know, you know, maybe she should. You know what she should do? She should get together with... Uh, uh, Casey Roman. Casey Roman kind of got off the road and is now doing uh, real estate videos. And then Lacey Lee Elliott kind of got off the road and is now doing car reviews and, uh, you know, F-I-R-E-A-R-M-S, you know, stuff. So maybe they get together and kind of, uh... <laughs> I don't know. You know, Nomad's off the road. And yeah, that'd be an interesting, uh, that would be an interesting, um... anyway, there's a nice picture of her. Lacey Lee Elliott, she used to, remember a couple years ago, she did a big trip down to Mexico, got a dog, had a boyfriend, got rid of the boyfriend, and uh, now uh, she's uh, packing. She's going to be packing, I think. Okay, novel, cult, novel, novel culture, novel culture, tire trip on a trip to New England, New, near like, what, Niagara Falls, somewhere like that, and the tire starts leaking, and they got to put a new tire on, and uh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Anyway, this is an interesting channel here. Check them out. They have some interesting food here, uncooked clams they're eating, and they've got a dog, and this lovely couple is in a uh, beautifully done out, uh, I, I forget, I don't know what uh, type of uh, RV that is, but it is absolutely gorgeous. They've done a re you know, really beautiful inside, Ooh, just absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> anyway, it's like, it looks like brick, doesn't it? I like that, it has that kind of brick look about it. That's really neat. I like that. Anyway, so nice channel here, and uh, you're working on working on the uh, the tires there. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Their journey through uh, yeah, triumphs in New Hampshire there. And that, yeah, whatever. Novell culture, personal finance, and van lifestyle. Their New England trip. It looks like the weather isn't cooperating with them. It looks kind of rainy there. Lovell and Paris. And their Q and A, so check it out. Uh, they're on my they're on my radar, so good stuff there for uh, this lovely couple. And uh, yeah. so we'll see all the different breakdown stuff. And don't eat those raw clams. Ugh. No, 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 no. Did I uh, forget to mention they also have an adorable puppy, which uh, I'll show you in a future video. It's kind of a anyway. RV Travel and Adventures is buying an RV for out of state. Is that a good idea? <laughs> I 
Um, could be if the price is right, right? Let's stand there, uh, kind of back in the uh, back in the uh, shop there, getting a little H O R N Y. Ooh. Uh, uh, uh. Chasing Amber is busy uh, building out her channel. She's done some pretty good jobs. She, she's cranking out a video just about every day, and uh, you know she's uh, doing the you know she's taking the book of how to build your YouTube channel, and she's. You know, it's not a it's not a stellar monstrous channel, but uh, she's doing a very nice job of just generating some decent income and stuff like that. Oh 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 oh! We got a new one from Camping with the Kellys here. They get they give us a tour of uh, you know whose house there in beautiful um, beautiful Illinois. You know what's his name? Nomadic 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 Derek. Anyway, um, yeah, we get to see the arcades and all that other stuff. I have heard, I have a funny feeling that he is going to be t heading out with them, uh, maybe on a trip sometime this year, maybe over to New England or something. I have a funny feeling that's coming up. But uh, they've been there. They, they live there in the Kansas City area. He's over there in a little town in southern Illinois, Illinois, and uh, they're not that far from each other. <clears throat> and uh, they seem to like to, they they have a they have a uh, common interest in those tracks max thingy dingies those funny little cars that drive around and you know, the, the little toy expensive toys anyway so so anyway so we shall see that uh, we have a nice video here check it out Destiny Doug Bros got Terry there they're hanging out with some buddies there and having a fireside chat <laughs> it's kind of I wish they would talk about like YouTube stuff you know uh, which you you know. Destiny Jobaro need to kind of do a tell-all video where they talk about Scott and Terry talk about which nomads they like and which ones they don't. You know, that would be funny. I don't know. All right, what else do we got here? Mark Fun Jones doing some more skateboarding clips. God, oh, the Beaver Den, the Beaver Den. There, uh, Jade and Frank there uh, from North Carolina. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think I can show this clip, right? I think I can show this clip here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's not good. When you look up at the ceiling of your RV and you see that, that's not good. You don't want water dripping down from that, no, do you? Is that an RV? That or is that a camp? I don't know. Is that it? Does whatever. Whatever there. Whatever. Even that's even that. Even that it's a cabin. You don't want that to happen. That looked like a cabin, didn't it? it looked like wood. That's a cabin. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> you don't want, wherever you are, whether it's a cabin or an RV, you don't want water dripping down from the ceiling. No, right? The Beaver Den, RV crafting and uh, living there, and it's a nice channel. And uh, my internet has now decided to, this Google browser is a piece of G-A-R-B-A-G-E. But anyway, it is. It's, it, it does this all the time. You have to restart it. If you, the problem is if I watch like seven or eight or ten videos, to short little clips to show you, and then it starts to just clonk out. And then i got to restart the browser. Anyway, good channel here. Beaver Den. They're the guys that gave me the clock. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's right. <laughs> send, you want to send Camo Dave some swag? 104 North Green Street, number 116, Morganton, North Carolina, 286 Dubba 5. Okay? And, uh, yeah. And I got a really cool mug there, too. Thank you, uh, Mark in Arizona, for that. Oh, yeah. That's really nice. Thank you. I'm going to have that on a future show. By the way, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. It's 27th Tuesday of April 2021. You have a wonderful rest of your... Uh, Tuesday, whatever, well, enjoy it and have a good time, vlog under.